Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Online. In this video, we're going to be going through a mini gator farm. I've been talking to a couple of you in the comments about it because the mini gators are worth a fair bit. And I've been doing this for a few hours on and off today. I've been doing some PvP and stuff in between. I started with $212 when I come online and I now have 580 There's possibly more efficient ways to do this, like to change the run. But we're starting down in Saint Denis because that's where the butcher is down here. And if we come up to the split in the train track to the right hand side of Blue Water Marsh, all around this sort of island here, and all up around this sort of area here, you're going to find mini gators. As well as that, you can see marked on the map there's a lot of different birds. The bird feathers are worth quite a bit, the mini gators are worth even more. So I'm going to do a little run. Like I'll show you the initial start of the run, but then I'll do the rest myself because it normally takes 15 to 20 minutes. On your way and around the area, there's rabbits, there's deer, there's the occasional buck, there's boars. Farm every animal possible, but keep your main focus on the mini gators and the birds because they're worth the most. So we're going to head up there now and we're going to start the run. You can only carry one mini gator carcass. It's worth $6.50, but you can only carry one. What me and Connor have ended up doing is skinning the first one because you can stack the pelts on your horse. So we collect a few pelts. We put the original three star carcass on the back of our horse. Then what we do if we find another three star, because together with the pelt and the carcass is $10, because the pelts are $3.50 each. What we do is we don't skin the second one. We use our lasso, we drag it all the way down to the butcher, sell the first one off the back of the horse, then you want to skin the second one, put the carcass and the pelt on your horse, then sell that to the butcher. So just for two of the mini gators, you're getting $20. The bird feathers, for the heron, it's $1.50 per feather, and you get three of them every time that you pluck one, so that's $4.50, and then the carcass is, I think, $3.25, so you're getting $7.75 a bird. And you can stow two of them, like one on each side of your horse. And what we've been doing, because me and Con have been doing it together, is Con's always done this sort of area. You can see there's a lot of big gators down here, but there is the odd small one as well. He's been doing this side of the little like lake that splits it. So if we keep going further up, on the left and the right hand side of the train tracks. Like that sort of area to the right, and that area off to the left as well. Then I've been coming over this side of the little like river, I don't know what you would want to call it. And I've been doing this side. So if we get the varmint rifle out, kill that pelican, kill that one. And because these are two stars, we're just going to pluck them and take their feathers. You can carry ten feathers for each species of bird. And this one's actually a free star, so I'm going to stow this on my horse. Because right now what I'm doing is $7.75. Free feathers and the carcass together. For some reason, it's not showing up that I'm getting XP or anything. Okay, this might have just glitched on me. There's a bird above me. I saw the shadow. Right, I got the XP for the kill. I don't have anything on me. I've literally just done a run down to the butcher. Right, so if we pluck it... Okay, all the... It's just glitched on me. Are you joking? Are you actually being serious right now? That's three birds. Let me find a mini gator. Because I might have to jump into a new session. Are you going to count as a carcass? No, what's going on? Where's the other one? Over here. I'm going to have to go down to the butcher and see if I can sell anything that I've just picked up. Are you joking? Not a single feather. All I got was the carcass. I'm going to have to join a new session. That's annoyed me because we've just lost about $15, $20 in a matter of minutes. Always keep an eye up in the sky when you're doing this because you can sometimes get a flock of like 10 exotic birds flying with each other. Right, here we go. So, there's a muskrat. We're going to kill that. Purely because we can just go over, skin it, it goes into our satchel, we can carry 10. That's extra money. Every little animal is extra money. We've got the dead eye, yeah, we've got the glands. And we've got a perfect pelt. I don't know why, but sometimes you get a perfect when you pick up a two star. And when you pick up a one star, you get a good. Okay, so there was no mini gators at all. They don't spawn up here. This is just me riding off so that I get out of the area and they respawn. 
and I go up as far as around this sort of area just before Van Horn then come back down because I don't think you have to go that far away but obviously you're going to find ways to make it more efficient for you and I like this farm like this run because it just doesn't seem to get boring like a lot of the hunting and stuff feels boring when you do it so often but this one like there's so many different species of birds you can find and it's not it doesn't feel too grindy oh you are a mini there we go we've got a free star because this is the first one i don't know if any more are going to be around the area i can't see any straight away but we're going to skin this one. Hopefully get my horse to come over. And you can't go too far away because they will despawn. I was standing there actually skinning a deer earlier. And it disappeared right in front of me as I got my knife out. Right, so we're going to pick this guy up. You're only allowed to carry one at a time. So we're going to chuck him on the back because you don't have a big animal on there. There we go. So that's mini gator pelt and carcass on the horse. Right, this guy in front of us, don't even kick me off horse. Get out of here, Gator. Go. Okay, this guy's only a two star, but I've looked around a couple of times. I haven't found a three star recently. So, I'm not going to skin it. I'm just going to aim my lasso. And it should, if the game's not going to be annoying. Okay, let's try here. Oh, it's not really land. It's still, like, muggy, but... Let's try it anyway. There we go. So we've got the lasso. Now we can pull this guy. The pelt and the carcass do not get damaged from doing this. And I believe it's the same for all animals. You need to be careful doing this because there's a couple of places it can come free. So your controller is going to vibrate like mad. So you'll know when it comes off. But just take it easy because if you go too far away it will despawn. So just make sure that it's always on the end of your rope. Sometimes you just have to be lucky enough to find that session when no one's in Sandini. Okay, so we're at the butcher. What we're going to do is leave this little guy here. We're going to release. And we're going to come over. We've got $585.16. The very first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the carcass. And the perfect alligator skin. Well, the skin doesn't matter too much. But what we're going to do is come over to this guy here. We're going to skin him. We're going to chuck his skin on the back of the horse. Grab the carcass, put that on the back. If it was perfect, it would be an extra $10 for the skin and the carcass. Obviously a little bit less because it's two star. But bringing two mini gators down here by themselves that are in perfect condition is $20 just for them too. So we stow him on the back. Then we're going to access the butcher, sell everything, and see how much money we made from that little run. There we go. So we're up to 640 and 57 cents. And then I get stabbed. But in the end, we made $55 just from a little run. Depending on quality, like condition and stuff, you can make more or less. Sometimes the runs are going to be better, sometimes they'll be worse. I think the most I had, I did two runs and ended up with like $110, $120. And there's enough space up there for two or three of you in a posse to go do it all together. But that was a little look at the mini gator farming run. Thank you to the people who put it in the comments that the gators are worth a lot. And someone even went into a lot of depth showing exactly where to go and how to do it. Obviously, you can make it more efficient. You can do your own sort of runs. You can mix it up. You don't have to do it exactly how I do it. But that is going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.